Welcome back. Right now, during the summer, many kids are spending much more time online. How can you keep them and your entire family safe? Well, I recently spoke with Antigone Davis. She's got some great ideas for us. Let's take a look. June is Internet Safety Month, and while there's a specific focus right now, it's always important to be aware of how to be safe on the Internet. Joining me right now is Antigone Davis, Head of Global Safety at Facebook, where she works with internal teams and external safety organizations, as well as government bodies, to ensure that Facebook remains a leader in online safety. And Tiffany, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me today. I recently read a statistic that 81% of parents reported their children started using social media between the ages of 6 and 13, and a high percentage of those are concerned about their kids interacting with people they don't know online. Can you tell us about some basic online safety when it comes to kids being online? Well, you're 100% correct. More and more parents are letting their children on to phones, tablets, apps at younger and younger ages, and they are concerned about who they're connecting, connecting with. I think first and foremost is if you're letting your child on at a younger and younger age, you want to be sure that you're having conversations around online safety at younger ages. Don't wait until your child's 13 and they're rolling their eyeballs at you. Have those conversations early. Find out what apps they're using. What do they like? What makes them um, uncomfortable? What do they find funny? Get those conversations going early so that they feel comfortable coming to you when they have questions or they are uncomfortable online. It's such a good reminder that you know, you need to be so careful when talking about being safe in general and being safe online. Those go together. And what about program settings and tools parents can use? Well, absolutely. In addition to conversations, it's really important for parents to know what are the privacy settings, what are the safety tools that any app has. So, for example, Messenger Kids, one of our apps, is a messaging app for younger kids. There's a set of parental controls inside of a dashboard. So a parent has a parent dashboard where they can see the most uh, co recent contacts the child has had. They can see images or videos that have been shared with their child. They can also see if their child's blocked somebody. Knowing that the, that visibility enables you to have a conversation, it also enables you to create a safer experience for your child. And you mentioned the importance of building your child's online confidence. What are some things they can do for themselves? Well, actually, not only do we have the controls for parents, but we actually have controls and settings for kids, too, because what you want to do is ultimately empower your kids to take charge of their own safety as well. So there are tools inside of Messenger Kids where you can mute a conversation if you're a child, if you don't want to have that conversation. You can block somebody who's trying to get in touch with you. And, of course, you can report to us if something is going on that you don't like that's happening. Making sure that your child understands what those controls are and how to use them really empowers them and enables them to build confidence online. And what else can parents do without blocking access or always looking over their child's shoulder to keep their kids safe? Well, certainly not every child wants their parent looking over their shoulder. One of the best things a parent can do is actually model good online behavior. So be a role model for your kids. Don't only just tell them um, what to do, but actually show them what to do. So if you don't want your child to use their phone during dinner, don't use your phone during dinner. If you want your child to behave in a way that's kind online, be sure that when you're texting or messaging with your child that you're being respectful too. Those things go a long way in modeling for your child what your values are, what the house rules are. What are some of the biggest online concerns that you're hearing from parents? Well, I think the number one concern that we, that we hear from parents is really around who their child is connecting with, which is why in Messenger Kids, that parent dashboard gives parents insight into who their child is connecting with and who's connecting with their child and actually gives parents the ability to manage those connections. Where can people go to get more information and resources on what we've been talking about today? Well, Facebook has a safety center, and I'd encourage parents to go there. That's Facebook back, backslash safety. There's a parent portal there with tips for parents. The other thing that parents can do is just go to messengerkids.com. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Antigone Davis, for joining us today. I appreciate this important information about keeping our kids safe online. Well, thank you for giving me a chance to talk to families. Thanks for watching this episode of What's Now. For more great content, stay tuned. I'm your host, Christine Napier. I'll see you next time.